first thing you'll need is a fan. I searched around Amazon and found this one. The mounting points in this one look to be the easiest to remove. The mounting point for the fan isn't that big a part of the molding and should cut off pretty easily. If you want to go the easy way, you can leave one of these tabs on the fan and just mount it however you need with that, or even just hang it if you'd like. I'm going to use one of these little video ball heads, or hot shoe ball heads, or whatever you want to call it. I'll have a link in the description. And I'll just clamp this right on to the cowl of the fan. It gives it infinite movement. As far as removing this last tab, you do have to be kind of conscious of the power cable. This little ball head won't open wide enough to just clamp right on the fan itself. So you'll need to actually take this apart. You'll need to cut away a little bit of the fan housing right here so this can grab on. Make sure you cut it from, I guess this would be the back side, there's more room here to cut in. If you cut from this side, chances are the fan blade itself will hit. A little closer, the fan blade itself will hit this. Let's see, just have to figure out where I want it and mark that space. There it looks good. Just mark it on there and mark it there. I'm going to start by just cutting down maybe an eighth of an inch or so. And from here, I'm just going to start carving this away. If you have a utility knife or something a little heavier duty, it'll probably do the job a little quicker. With some of these ball heads, there's a few different versions out there. This one actually has a little stop so it won't come all the way loose. Let's see how close I got. Needs just a little more. So I ended up cutting it maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that. Right about like that. Now with these fans, even though this looks like the front, the wind will blow this direction. So you're kind of stuck looking at the label on the back. So this guy just clips right on that little cutout. around like that. Get the screw in there. Make sure it's all seated in. And now you have a fan that you can mount really to just about anything. For mounting this thing, I just took a quarter 20 bolt. I cut off the head and then kind of filed that in so it was sort of round. And then just cut off the rest of the threads right here We'll screw that in here, like that. And then I've drilled a couple of small holes around the cabinets in my van, and I'll just stick this right in those holes. And it holds quite well, and is 
aimable wherever I want it. So this is just a 12 volt fan. From here you could just cut this little connector off and you'll have to play around with which one of these three wires is the positive in the ground. There's a positive, a ground, and the third one I believe is a tachometer. Um, if you need that in your setup, go for it, but the positive and ground will do just fine. So I've got my power supply over here and my fan. Now just to go that one extra step, I've decided to add a speed controller, which is actually an LED dimmer. The nice thing with this one is it actually comes with a little lead and I think three or four feet of wire. To wire this to my speed controller, flip up the little door there. I have my voltage in. Just strip back the wires a little bit. I have an extra lead here for my power pack. Just put that guy in. Turn this up to about medium. I'm gonna strip back the three wires on the fan itself. And just play around with those until I find the positive and negative. First try, that's always handy. This is just a bench test for now. When I wire this into the camper, I'll use this extra wire so I can have my speed controller somewhere other than right next to the fan. The fan's not noisy, not that noisy. If you do turn it up on full power, it can move some air. On half power, it's much quieter. So here it is all set up in the camper. Let's go up to full speed here and you can kind of get an idea how loud it is. If you have a small space heater, it'll certainly move the air around. At half power, it's much quieter. Not that it was ever noisy. And just loosen up the ball head and you can put it wherever you want. If you found the video handy, please hit like and subscribe. I have a few other car camping hacks in there as well.